So in this video, we're going to explain landing pages for SEO, search engine optimization, and for AdWords, and we're going to use the CEA, Confirm Engage Action methodology to understand our landing pages. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the three meanings of landing pages and get that out of the way. The first meaning is the more generic meaning, which is what Google uses inside of Google Analytics. And what we mean here is just that a landing page is simply the first page the user touches when they quote unquote land on your website. In many cases, this will be your home page. In a lot of others, it might be a blog page or it might be a specific page designed for a search query. So the user does a search, they land on your, you rank on Google, you get the click, they land and off you go. And I have a screenshot here from Google Analytics, which shows you how you find it in analytics, behavior site content landing pages. Now the confusion is that's not what we're talking about here. So this is a generic view of landing pages. It means the first page that they touch. We're using a very specific meaning for SEO and for AdWords. Now, in AdWords, it also means a page that you specifically create, but that's related to the SEO meaning, but we're going to focus on the SEO meaning only. So don't get confused and realize there's a very specific meaning that we're going to use for SEO purposes. Now, for search engine optimization, a landing page has some specific attributes. It doesn't mean just any old page on your website. It's not your home page. Your home page is not a landing page in terms of SEO uh, and really not in terms of AdWords. So that first usage, just throw that out. A landing page is a page that you create that specifically matches up with a keyword query. So for instance, if you want to rank for motorcycle insurance, you want to create a page that will match that query. And if we look at those big insurers with their big budgets and their awesome SEO teams, they have done exactly that. So if you do the search for motorcycle insurance, and ignore the ads, of course, you'll see that the number one ranked page is a landing page on progressive.com that was created to match that search term. The number two page is a landing page that was created by Geico to match the search phrase motorcycle insurance. These are not their home pages. These are specific pages that match the keyword query. And you can try that yourself. So motorcycle insurance is pretty. Same for RV insurance. You can do RV insurance. And you're going to see, surprise, surprise, that there's a specific page on progressive.com that matches the phrase RV insurance. And we can start to reverse engineer this tactic. Okay. Now, in fact, you'll see that there's a page on progressive that lists all of their landing pages. They've made it really easy for you to see, and you can see that they have a landing page specifically for my favorite golf cart insurance. So, you know, who know, who knew, right? You need, of course, I mean, of course you do. You could run down another rich golfer and what would happen, right? It would be a insurance lawsuit amongst the rich people. I mean, not only rich people do golf, but you know what I mean? So golf, golf cart insurance. Everybody needs a golf cart insurance policy. All right, so let's take that page and you'll see that that page has been optimized for golf insurance. Now let's talk about the attributes of landing pages for SEO and what's going on. So first, the keyword target. So somebody at Progressive did some research, golf insurance, golf cart or golf cart insurance, company, golf cart insurance company, golf cart insurance rates, golf cart insurance coverage, etc. They've done a little research in the background and they've figured out that there's a cluster of keywords around golf cart insurance. That's step one is keyword research and identifying the target. Secondly, they've optimized the meta tags, the title and meta description. So I've put the title here. So their title tag is progressive golf cart, golf cart insurance. Ensure your golf cart with golf cart insurance from Progressive. You can see they kind of clobbered it there. 
Meta description is protect your golf cart with golf cart insurance. Your homeowner's policy might not cover your golf cart if you ride off on your own property, so specialized golf cart insurance is important. Choose progressive golf cart insurance for gas or electric golf carts, right? That's written there. Now remember, you can go check the page out. Let's go into the golf cart page. I'm sorry, I have the golf cart page here. Golf cart insurance page. Or it's not the golf cart. Right click, view page source. Control F is in Frank. You can find and you'll be able to see the titles and meta descriptions which I've pulled for you. Now, they've also put that keyword into other key tags, such as header, images, crosslinks, except examples. So the H1, so control F, H1, you can see that they have an H1 that has golf cart insurance as that H1. And that visibly, that's this here is the H1 tag. You can right click, inspect, and if the force is with you, it'll take you right to it, and you'll see it's an H1 tag. Okay, now, related to that, let's look at visible contents. Let's do Control F as in Frank. Let's type in golf cart. And notice down here that they have woven the golf cart insurance, golf cart word, into their golf cart page and so they've done a good job at creating some content that Google can connect to latch on to that's helped it they've also created cross links to and from pages around uh, that phrase so for instance uh, we have of course um, the uh, master page here insurance choices links down to the golf cart page and so does if you go to the sitemap, the sitemap also links to the golf cart page here. So they've got cross links supporting it. And notice how these cross links are around the phrase, not golf cart, but golf cart insurance. Okay. And then notice how from the home page, you have one click links to the major landing pages. So home page to motorcycle insurance is one click. And then also, if you look at the, um, a little bit easier to see in the site navigation for them notice how if you go to the bottom here notice how the site navigation links to the really important pages like motorcycle insurance so golf carts kind of a secondary landing page the main landing pages like motorcycle insurance are are in the footer they're one click from the footer for the whole site they're one click from the home page Golf cart insurance is still landing pages. It's two clicks from the home page, home page to site map, site map on. Now let's look at the CEA model landing page optimization. Confirm, engage, action. And an easy way to see this is to go to Google and do a search. Let's do motorcycle insurance. Let's go back to this one. Let's do motorcycle insurance. And let's look at our number one page. So what's in my head? Motorcycle insurance. I just got my Harley. I need to get started. So I'm going to search Google. I'm going to click on, I'm going to ignore the ads. I'm going to click on that first organic. So I'm going from Google to the landing page. Now, CEA. So what do we mean here? So the left zone, CEA. So C is people read top to bottom, left to right. So they're going to see this guy, look at, notice how he's on a motorcycle. So the image instantly confirms that you've landed on the right page. There's a guy on a motorcycle with his cool leather jacket, right? You see the phrase in big font, right? So motorcycle insurance, again, confirming that you're in the right spot. Then this middle zone is a little bit more where you get into engagement. So it's the number one bike insurance. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll also see that they've got engagement here, which is, you know, we're so awesome. We're incredible. Look at us, blah, blah, blah. We're number one. That's engagement. And then the action, that's what they want you to do. That's here. And again, it's more towards the right. So CEA. Now look at a different company. Let's look at Geico. So number two, our silver medalist, so to speak. So we're here. Now, Now again, just draw three little lines here, kind of CEA, and sort of think about it. So 
C is towards the left and towards the top. You can see here we have our motorcyclist. He's glancing at the sun, right? He's just sort of chilling, right? So that's our confirmation. You're on the right page. And notice here, confirmation. Look at the icon, confirmation. And then the engagement is, you know, look how awesome we are. We have free quotes, you know, get our motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. That's our engagement. And then what's the action right there? So you have CEA on that. And notice how it's all above the fold. It's really easy to see. Now you can do other types of high value searches. Do, for instance, medical, malpractice, um, lawyer, Los Angeles, right? Totally different industry, right? <laughs> Probably what you need if you ride motorcycles too much. And let's let's see if we can find a nice uh, page here, and let's just sort of look at it. So it could be the home page. You know, again, kind of gets a little blurry there. But notice if you land on this home page, think about CEA, right? So I just did medical malpractice, right? So CEA. So here's the C, and notice how these guys all have suits, and this woman has you know nicely dressed, right? So clearly what? Attorneys, because who wears suits anymore other than attorneys and politicians, right? So that's our C zone. Look, oh wow, they're in a fancy building, right? That's confirmation, attorneys. Here's your engagement, unrivaled qualifications, unmatched results, blah, blah, blah. That's your engagement. So C, confirmation, they're attorneys, they do medical. E, they're awesome, and notice here, here's your A for action. So you can start to be a critic of the landing experience, whether it's on the home page or a truly specific landing page, using that CEA model, confirmation, engage, action. Okay, let's wrap up. So our first thing to think about, understand, there's three meanings of landing pages. There's the Google Analytics meaning, which is not what we're talking about. That's the first page you touch. There's the AdWords and SEO meanings, which are very closely related. SEO is truly optimized to show on Google. AdWords has a little bit more just worry about the experience once they land. An SEO landing page is a page that's been specifically optimized for a keyword query, and the on-page attributes have been optimized. The meta tags, the title, meta description, the visible content, etc., has been optimized. They've been linked to from the home page, so they've been optimized to show and rank well for those target queries. And thirdly, once you start to look at the humans, you want to look at the CEA model: confirmation, engage, action, top to bottom, left to right, to make sure that you have confirm, engage action on those landing pages. Because the point of all this is not just to rank on Google, it's to make more money through getting registrations or uh, sales on your website. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, put them into the YouTube description.